years ago when I was working at a private international school, I was introduced to the new boss. He was a new principal that joined the staff. And as I approached him, I put my hand out, he put his hand out and we shook hands. And in the second that we shook hands, I had this whole download of information. And the information was that he didn't believe he was up to the task and that he would be gone within 18 months. And it was a bit kind of strange to say the least because I literally had just met this man. I knew nothing about him. And, um, you know, I was having men to, you know, say, oh, hello, welcome and all of those things, you know, and not give away the information that I just received. So um, to cut the long story short, just over a year into about 14 months, 15 months into him being at the school, um, there was an announcement that from the board of directors that he was, they didn't say he was being fired, but they said that um, he, would, he was no longer going to be at the school, which is essentially the same thing. So, and, and this has happened many, many times, you know, um, when I'm in someone's space, I'll receive information about them. And um, it's obviously not always negative. It's many, many times it's really positive and uplifting. And I don't necessarily always share what I'm hearing because um, there has to be an understanding that the person is um, available to hear a message, you know, and I wouldn't just kind of impose that on anybody. It's, it's not appropriate. So the reason I'm sharing that this evening is to say that, of course, we're all multidimensional. We all exist beyond time and space. We all receive messages about um, our own lives and you know, for the benefit and for the sake of others. And also oftentimes maybe as um, um, a way of kind of alerting you, so to speak, to what is coming. And um, this is the na our natural way of being, that we do exist beyond time and space and um, we're able to receive these downloads or these messages, these intuitive messages and be guided by them. So I just hopped on, I was inspired to hop on here this evening and to share that because many times what I find with um, when I'm working with clients and you know helping them kind of move through obstacles that stand in the way of their own clear seeing is that they tend to diminish or doubt when an intuitive flash appears in their heart or in their mind or in their being and, um, you know, they tend to sort of ignore it or diminish it or think, oh, it's just imagination. And um, oftentimes when there's a felt sense and there's an en energetic kind of component to it, then you can be sure that it is authentic and um, it's coming from source itself. And it's not just the ego the egoic mind, you know, conjuring up these kind of ideas or, you know, comments and, you know, things like that. So what I would say is really lean into and trust when these things happen to you. And, you know, obviously they do happen to everybody. Everybody gets signs and messages, you know, all the time. But whether or not they land in you is really... Um, I guess to the same degree <laughs> um, as to, you know, how, how embroiled you are in your mind and in the movement of, of the mind. When you have dropped into your heart, when the mind is quiet, you've dropped into your heart, you're much, much more able to receive this information and to receive it very clearly and very quickly. So any kinds of practices that really help the mind become still as the yogis say, the mind becomes still and takes rest in the heart, then um, you are able to really um, 
you know, receive whatever you need to receive in any given moment. And there's this, this sort of clear channel for, for that to happen. Um, and one very simple practice, one way of really staying in your heart and being present is to keep asking, and I've shared this before, but just inquire, is awareness here? And am I aware of awareness or is awareness aware of itself? And and see what happens because usually what happens is when you start you know delving into that kind of inquiry that self-inquiry the mind automatically becomes very still you could also ask you know what is here and and watch the mind again relax and fall into the heart and it's a very simple but very effective practice that um, you can do throughout the day. So this is my little hop on. And um, again, I hope you're doing well. I send each of you much love. Um, stay connected to your heart. Listen to what you're feeling and intuiting inside yourself. And be true to that. So take it easy. Be well. And see you again soon. Bye.